What's up guys? Y'all know what day it is. It's Saturday. That means it's Matco Tools Day. Let's take a look, see what Michael's got. You guys, come on. bar that's gotta know. be a good story with that one uh, I don't know he didn't really tell us a whole lot <laughs> I asked and it, the subject got changed so uh, well, got a, I'm gonna say not normal use anyway yeah somebody else was asking about the one you had here that had the handle broke off of it yeah I don't know I'm more impressed by that one down there than I am this up here I've seen the ends <laughs> broke off before but it's got to be one of the first times I've ever seen one bent like and that. And that's the good handles, too. And he, he's done tore all the rubber off of it. Believe it or not, he said he didn't like that handle. He said really? he liked the newer style better. Mm. But now he hasn't used it, so that's all off of first impression. We'll see when... Uh, now I, I bet you after two months of use, he'll be wishing he had that one back. <laughs> well, I know he said that it hit him in the head pretty good when whatever happened, happened. He had a pretty good size knot, so... Ooh. Uh, I'm sure it hurt. <laughs> he said he got to go home early because of it, so. Oh, man, that would suck. I mean, it is what it is, I guess. But, well, y'all got a box back on here, at least. Well, yeah, that's just, that's the one that I would have figured it done been gone, but. Well, you think it's just because it's a 6S and maybe the price difference from the 4S is the reason why it's still here? Maybe. Uh. I've had a lot of people apply for it, just ain't had the credit, and that, and that happens. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna tell you, they ain't nothing finer than that 6S box. Though. That one's real close to being unloaded. I mean, it's uh, that's a fine color combo on it. I've got to order one to go back there in the back anyway. I'm probably just gonna go ahead and order two more 4S styles, and uh, I'm probably gonna have that one at the house if it sits too much longer. I think I might just go ahead and order a. Uh, top drawer and a hutch for it and call it that be your box call it mine it's pretty color i like it i do too i love that color so i don't know we'll see that's almost as good looking in my box <laughs> it's close the only thing that i wish uh i wish it was three bay if it was three bay i would have already unloaded it mm -hmm. i don't know why it ain't like i do this every, i don't i don't turn wrenches every day it ain't like i need a three bay but you gonna talk yourself out of it well that's how i do every time so this is just a start of it <laughs> You know, you're supposed to have a nice looking box. Yeah, if I had a closed in spot to put one, but I don't have a closed in spot, so I'm afraid. Time to build that, you a shop. Well, we, I mean, I've talked to a couple of people. You can write it off as a warehouse for your <laughs> tools in. Yeah, I've talked to a couple of companies, and if lumber and concrete wasn't so stupid high right now, but lumber yeah. is crazy. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, I don't know. I, you know, we added on, did you see that big porch that we added on back there on the back? I don't think so. I didn't see it. 16 foot all the way across the whole back of the shop. Oh, okay. So we'll have a, a little place we can hang out. And there you go. Enjoy some barley water and stuff like that. And that was very much like I priced it a year ago. Oh, yeah. It's done doubled in price by now. Yeah. But I had in my mind, I was not quitting until it was done. So. <laughs> I'm proud we got it. It just cost a whole lot more than we thought it what would. What you thought, originally thought? Yep. Well, these are new. They come out at the meeting. So I got them in last night, I think. I think some of the distributors already got them, but I like the bag for sure. Mm -hmm. We're actually opening these up first time. I looked at them on a picture. So that's the bigger style there. Yep. Which would be good for rebuilding transmissions and stuff like that. Maybe an Allison, I don't know. <laughs> That's a sore subject around <laughs> here today. And door pan bushings. Yeah. Door pan bushings wouldn't be so bad if the doors wasn't so heavy. That's the problem. Uh, and then like on a Chevrolet, you got to grind that off, you know, because the factory ones are the way they kind of pressed in. Right, right. But man, them doors, is, you don't think of a truck door being that heavy until you try to pick it up. 
<laughs> but what we did with this, the first one, we just manhandled it like a bunch of goons. Yeah. And the second one, I said, well, you know what, we'll take this floor jack, and we just yeah. popped it right off there. I knew a guy that had uh, come up with his own little deal. He had it to where it would go and grab the bottom of the door and the top of the door. And then he had like a old winch handle that he would, and it would right, grab the door and he could lower it or lift it oh, with that. That, that worked nice. really nice. He changed the bushings in my truck about 15 minutes because of it. He did good. Was so. it onion? No. Because he does a bunch of them. I figured he's got something cool like that. No, this, uh, this guy, he was in one of the motorcycle clubs that my dad was in. Um, he used to work right up here at when... Uh, Curtis thing? Yeah, well, no, when Boomville Collision had that building yeah, rented, yeah. he worked there with them. But, pretty cool guy, I guess. These are really normally stock. These are my best selling ones here, this style here. Right. Uh, which I've always liked them because they switch from inner to outer. Um, but I think that I have liked these more now that they've come out. You know, this is kind of like the Nipix version. Mm -hmm. uh, if you've seen the Nipix, they do the same style here. But I like the way the handles are here, but I also like how beefy uh, they are up here. Right. So, I mean, they feel good. They got a good spring inside of them. I think I like these more than these. Um, I probably didn't order enough of these, but uh, I wanted to get them and see, but I didn't realize how close to the Nipix they actually was. Mm -hmm. But I think these are going to be really nice. I think they're going to sell really good. Um, it's those right there I know will because I always have people wanting bigger yep. sizes. So for it to come in a set and, and be, you know, such a wide variety, I think I think it's going to do good. So, but what did I do with that box? Did you already get the part number? I showed it, but we'll show it again. Somebody will ask. Somebody will put this. Be sure and ask, though. I mean, I don't know that everybody took advantage and ordered them, but it'd be, it'd be a pretty good set to have. I know snap ring pliers is usually one of those things that you may already have. Come out in a popular color. It's, it's not maroon or anything like that. So uh, <laughs> That's a good thing. That's right. We, yeah. uh, we realized just how much people didn't like maroon last week, that's for sure. I ain't the only one. No, no. There's, there's, there was a couple that commented that said that they were art right with a maroon. Uh, it didn't really slow no sales this week. I think I got maybe one size of the smaller set left. So we sold through them pretty quick. That's good. Um, we had those and a couple. Of, what else did we have? We had those and something else that we sold out of. Oh, the impact. The stubby impacts. They were sold out as mm -hmm. of last Friday evening. So. Yeah, somebody uh, said they ordered them. But it was going to be like three months, they said, before they'd have them. So the that, that's the thing. It's all about when the district gets the order in. That's why sometimes people get stuff before I do. And now it used to not be that way because we used to all stagger our meetings. But now that our meetings are virtual, everybody does them at the first of the month to get mm -hmm. them done. And so let's put all the product needing right in, um, which we're still having trouble getting stuff here, the parts and stuff. So that's still causing a little bit of back orders. Um, but there's a lot of guys out there that's already got the blue and black ratchets and I have yet to get all of my blue and black ratchets in so I did get the quarter in though and I put it up somewhere what you got in this box screwdriver set yep but that's that's the black and blue quarter so that's it looks a, really good in my nice opinion. Nice looking little ratchet. Um, I like it. I think it's really cool. I, I'm, I'm curious to get the other ones too. Um, I know well I can for a hundred percent sure say like I had a bunch of people said oh Matco ratchets is not really made in USA or they're not made they're made in gear wrench plant. I know for a, I didn't take a trip out of the country you know, and I've seen it firsthand go from round stock steel to a finished ratchet and my feet was standing in America and it was all made in one factory in house every part of that ratchet was made there that's right um, and there wasn't any gear wrench tools anywhere around nope so you know we so. we that's about as far as we can take it uh, we tried to tell everybody that that wasn't true that didn't work well I know for a fact because yeah. he let me take <laughs> pictures of each process along the way. There was, you know, of course, some stuff that was yeah, proprietary just, that, we, you know, 
Yeah. Like he would let you look at it and yeah. he'd explain the process to you, but you couldn't photograph it. Yeah. Well, see, that, that's the thing. We, we talked about it. Nobody believed us. We tore them down. You brought it on here. We tore them down. They were still different. Yeah. Um, people still didn't believe us. So now that you've actually been there, you can, you know, mm -hmm. you know with any trust at all, you, you know that it just... Well, I've seen it go from round stock yeah. all the way. And I said, where's, where's all the blue ratchets at? He goes, we are sold out of blue handles. <laughs> he said, like, they are... I don't... Ha he had, like, four ratchets there that they had put together... For a special order for a dealer yeah. and that's the only one now they had tons of orange like yeah i wish that i took a picture of the plastic bin that all those handles was in it was thousands and thousands and thousands yeah. of orange handles and green handles you know no blue you know, there was four blue handles in the whole entire <laughs> factory so we we knew they were going to be popular after the little test run, and then they have been. It ain't slowed up. So I hope to see blue continue. But yeah, they're they're U.S. made. Uh, it's pretty cool. Even on you know you would think on the ratchets that are non flex ed that they were all made out of one piece. Mm -hmm. They're not. They're welded right there, just about an inch back. Yeah. And, and it's cool to see them weld that and everything like that. Yeah, they use a it spins. Yeah, it's it really cool. But what's the coolest thing, and I can put this in the video, is when they laser engrave them. Yeah. That is really cool to see right there. The way it, that laser yep. shoots across through there. That's I thought, cool. I, they really- let me video that. Yeah, Mako showed us one time how they, they welded that center there, how it spins really mm -hmm. fast, and how uh, how they did all that. And I thought it was really cool. You know, yeah. that, that I've seen the way the master, the-, the, the He rashes. said that they did test and it was way stronger. Yep. Than if you just stuck them together and welded them, he yep. said like four times as strong. That's what they told us too. That's cool. So I, I thought it was cool. I've seen the way these are made, the ratchets are made. I've seen the way our toolboxes are made. Um, all of them is the highest of quality. There's a lot of test that goes into it. Uh, so I mean, that's why we we like to claim that we got the best built boxes and stuff like that. And well, it was cool to watch those ratchets being made. Yeah. I have to say that. I know I can't keep our ratchets. Like I, I sell them quicker than what I can get them in. Now the hat, the the big half inch sizes, you don't sell as many as those. The real long ones. Yeah. Um, you know the one. I think there's one that maybe longer than this one even. But that's what they was building the day we was there. Yeah. And they was thousands of those ratchets on a table. It was just cool to see that many in, in one one spot. But. Yep. I need them to make some 12 inch ratchets. I'm completely out. <laughs> well, they ain't got no blue handles that they can put on them because like that's what I wanted to do was take a picture of all those blue all handles the blue. in the bin like the orange and he's like, I don't got them. He said, I can't, I can't get them. He said like whenever they send them to me from the manufacturer, we put them on those ratchets and they're gone. Like, yep. Right then, they're gone. Yeah, and, and I've said it before, they, they're tied in with a vaccination somehow. I, I don't know how, I don't know how a blue handle ratchet's got anything to do with the, the, vaccine, the, the vaccine. I have no idea, um, but for some reason it is, so uh, it does slow it down a little bit, but we're living in a world where it seems like we get told just about on everything that it's gonna take a little longer than normal. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, there's even restaurants that we go to that, um, I won't mention, but every time I get her to agree to go there, they don't have what she wants. So oh, we've fought the same thing, like going out. We can't get it because of COVID. Yep. Sorry. Yep. So we, uh, it is what it is. But we're starting to get stuff in, so we'll see what it does. But uh, I still, I think I got still got some other stuff ordered from the sales meeting, so maybe it'll come in and we can talk about it. But for now, those are really nice to have. I mean, they feel good. And they're new. Um, I'm interested to see how my customers react. I kind of hit them all day because I was afraid I'd sell out before <laughs> I got here. But uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess we're gonna go in here and finish that wiring job. We ordered all new battery. We're gonna put battery cables all on the whole entire truck. We're thinking about moving the battery box to the bed and putting it in a battery box itself. So there's some upsides to that for sure. I know that wiring was a nightmare. <laughs> like a complete nightmare. You know, I've noticed more and more, uh, that's mainly what I get calls about is, hey, I got somebody that wired this and it's not quite working. Do you care to look at it? And it's like, mm. yeah. And then it comes and it's like, ooh. <laughs> oh, this one was bad. Like, yeah. bad. 
but we got it all straightened out everything's working and the truck actually cuts on and off with the key now so we're moving in the right direction <laughs> I, had that the, I had that the other day on a, on a dodge um they put a starter on it and it wouldn't start with a key after that so so did you disconnect the battery yeah no. fuse was blowed but it also starter wasn't mounted up right uh it, it was the bolts were backed out that far was it a hemi no this was actually a 96 dodge dakota i think and then uh i had a transmission leak wanted me to check it out the pan the bolts wouldn't even tight they were all finger tight so I, some of them wouldn't even finger tight i mean that, you just put a socket on it and turn it it was yeah. almost out <laughs> wait a minute so some of us do better work than others i guess i don't, <laughs> I don't. that's true all right, well, we're going to get back after it. Like always, guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for cool tools, discount codes. It's in the description. And always hit the thumbs up. Click that subscribe button. It's totally free. You just press the button. That's all you got to do. Click it. You guys have a great week. Catch you next time. <laughs>